All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler here with episode 10 of Mass Effect. Let's just get down to it. What are we in for today? It looks like... Are we ready to just go to, um... Message coming in. Patch it through. We're sorry that you were unable to negotiate with Darius peacefully. His death is regrettable. Nevertheless, the resulting chaos will create a power vacuum that makes future raids upon our miners unlikely. You put Darius in power, but he was getting greedy. You wanted me to kill him. The Alliance does not condone assassination. We would never give that order. Killing Darius was your decision alone. And because you're a Spectre, we couldn't reprimand you if we wanted to. Thank you for your assistance in this matter, Commander. Fifth lead out. Yeah, Admiral Hackett wanted us to kill him. Uh, cover up the secret. <laughs> so it looks like we're ready for Vermeer. Okay, you did miss part of the recording of this game. The Council, after Pharos, uh, contacts you and says, oh... We have a lead on uh, Saren, he's at Vermeer. So... So here we go to Vermeer to continue the story. Those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them up. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. So pretty much again, this is linear. You um, just follow the path and get to where you're going. The animals, they're just dumb little animals that get in your way, so you just run over them. And these rocks, they don't serve any fucking purpose other than tripping you up. Kill that juggernaut, get him out of my friggin' way.
There we go. Now, you don't have to go up here to fight the Geth here, but I do because, again, I want the experience. Finally, I get smart and use um, use barrier. I wanted to throw that guy off the ledge, and that didn't work the way I wanted, but that's okay. Don't know why I holstered, but there we go. Get free items up here too, so overload your ass. And she got that one. Nice job, Tally. Nothing else here, so we just head back to the Mako and continue on down the path. Yeah, I get one. I get wondered. I think the original Mass Effect it did run at 30 FPS, and I'm thinking in future characters I'm gonna have to run this in 30. I know um, two and three ran at 60, and this is another glitch that I, I just don't understand why the fuck BioWare could not work on getting these bugs and glitches out because it serves no damn purpose whatsoever ever. And it's so fucking hard to get it to correct itself. All the money Bioware put into this to fix this game. Redo it and all this. And yet they still have fucking problems with it. There it finally fixed itself. And this wasn't cheap either. It was like $70. I had to pay $70 for this. Yes, you get all three games. And you get all the DLC. But they should have fixed it. They should have fixed it. There's no excuse to why they did not fix this. There is absolutely no excuse why they could not fix this game. What's so fucking ever? I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. If I want to do assault training or what, I don't know. And I wish I would have just cut this out because I'm just wasting time. If I were smart, I'd do electronics. Which I end up doing, looks like. Throw for Rex. Throw for Rex. And damping for Tally. Thank you.
Okay, so now we get stopped here. And you have to get out of the Mako here and find out what's going on. I did not catch that when I first played that. That's why I like watching my gameplay though too, because you start catching stuff that I wouldn't catch when I was playing because I'm just not paying attention. All right. You got to turn the generator off first. Down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Okay, and, and now you can open the gates. And then we can get out of here. All right. I keep forgetting you have to turn the guns off first before you can open the gates. And here I'm supposed to be an expert at this game. <laughs> There's the Normandy. That's a cool little camera shot of the Normandy flying by, you know. We kill the two little shits down here on the ground, and now we go back up there to open up the gates. Bam! Missed! But I didn't miss you! Open the gates! There, I got it. <laughs> All right. I think that's everybody. We can just get the hell out of here. Yep. That is everybody. We can get the hell out of here. Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Again, this fucking glitch. Here I'm trying to fucking play this game and fucking can't because goddamn Bioware don't know how to fix their fucking games. And I wish I'd have just paid attention and cut this out. 
I, I don't know why. I don't fucking get it. All this fucking money Bioware put in this fucking game, and they can't fix the goddamn... They can't fix the goddamn game? And we're literally right there! There's the fucking camp! And I can't fucking get to it because the fucking game's glitched! So I decide, fuck it, I'm gonna walk to it. Well, then it finally fixed itself again. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. That's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the Genophage. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. Looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Just drop it. He'll be fine. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. Okay, so now I head over to Captain Rentelda. This coming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kiriki. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Okay, so we get the final grenade upgrade and the Amali Council license. Alright. Not any better, so okay. Now we go talk to Rex. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. This has to be done. Saren's the enemy, not me. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. I don't care what your personal feelings are. This base gets destroyed. Don't push me, Shepard. I followed you because I wanted to fight for something more than credits. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. All you need to know is that I'm giving you an order to fall in line. So exactly, damn it. Time, and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Saren doesn't care about these Krogan. They're tools, puppets. He'll destroy them as soon as they're no longer useful to him. 
Is that what you want for your people? No, we were tools for the Council once. The thing is for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt if Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. There we go! Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Salarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? This is my decision, not yours. Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. It's a dangerous situation. Keep your eyes open and be ready for anything. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. The silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. All right. So now we go in and we raid the base. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. 
All right. So let's get to it. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. William, with the Igor team. Manavai, Jayato teams, move. Time to get some attention. Don't waste your fucking... That's okay. Manavai is under coordinated crossfire. Check for long-range turrets helping the guest target. Boom. I never noticed that Tally said that. So that's how you override their targeting, the Geth targeting. You don't have to do it, but if you do, if you do all the extra things, um, Captain Kira, he survives this. If you don't, Captain Kira, he dies. Something scrambled. They're targeting. Got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off my line. Wham. They're calling sat strikes. Diego, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? Okay. This will be number two for um, scrambling their defenses. This one's an easy one. I actually, the first time I played this, I accidentally figured it out. You just shoot that satellite. That's all you do here. Ugh. And that's how you do that. Okay, so here's number three. You go to the refueling platform. To make sure I'm going the right direction, I look at the map. Again, you don't have to do it, but I do because I, I like to try to make um, Kiri survive, so... Boom, that's how you do that. <laughs> Overload the fuel tanks and just let them go. <laughs> we took them out with one single frickin' overload from Tally. <laughs> You are getting helped, you ungrateful bastard. Boom. There, and that's all of them. Great.
the line, man. Hold the line. Oh, we're close. We've got access to base security. We can cut the alarms from here. Maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us. But they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Yeah, we can. I love killing. I don't know why we get the Asari Intel report. But for some reason, he had an Asari Intel report. It's free experience. Huh? Is someone out there? But the ground, Williams. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. There we go. We got that. The Nexus X Omni Tool. I thought it was a uh, um. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Okay. Up here. I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Nobody's going anywhere till I get some answers. Private Maino Savata of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. We've never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd say anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Can you help me, or will I be carrying you out of here? I'll be at your back every step of the way. I just need to get out of here and away from that incessant whispering. They've piped it in for days now. Something's not right here, Shepard. He's not part of the mission. No. No. I, I need to get out of here. This room is too small, and it keeps talking, and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. Let me out. I can't take that chance can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! The yeah, and you go down these stairs. For more kills. Now 
everyone else, I think, is downstairs. Yep. And the door is locked over here. And I, I never realized this door was down here, and I don't even know what it what it is. I thought maybe there's a way to unlock it, but apparently not, so. Okay. What? Uh, uh sorry. What is going on? All right, we do electronics. Electronics, thank you. Now, bro. And this one was kind of hard, so I decided uh, basic armor just to give Tally more. This is important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. I give Tally more uh, basic armor for defense. That's the best for her at this point. too late everyone in this place is trying to kill me do i look like a soldier i'm a neuro specialist and this job isn't worth dying over or worse you think the indoctrination only affects prisoners sooner or later saren will want to dissect my brain too give me one reason i should help you i i can help you this elevator behind me goes to saren's private lab i can get you in see Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? You conducted brutal experiments on helpless test subjects. You helped Saren. You don't get to live. I just did what I was told. I didn't have a choice. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't help your victims. No! No! Hey, he's right. Okay, so off to Saren's private lab. Oh shit! Shepherd, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. Damn! Look what Saren was holding. Now I was scared of this part because on Eden Prime it was crashing my 
uh, graphics card. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. No, I'm not. Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's going to fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Lay it on me, Joker. I love bad news. That ship Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. There's nothing we can do here. Idea, Shepard? We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Damn right. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joke around. All right. Ah. Yeah, they're trying to keep you on position, Jay. I told you. Looks like Shadow picked a sensitive spot. Williams, head them off. Hold them. Okay.
Oh, the asshole hit immunity. God damn it. There we got him, though. Boom. We throw him to the ground, and then bam. Get the items here, may as well, for the experience. There we go, shit. Open that up, turn them off. Which pissed the geth off. In the elevator. Boom, throw him off the cliff, hell yeah. Okay. That's it. We need to clear the geth and set those charges. Okay, we got a couple of geth here that want to give us trouble. Boom. Boom. All right. Cool. Got rid of those two bastards. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. And inside we go. No enemies? I thought there were enemies. All right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. He's coming in for a landing, which there he is. in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The guests have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative! Just make sure that nuke is set! We'll hold them as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe. Okay, so here we go. 
Now we gotta go save Ashley's ass. Got that, that, and down he goes. All right. Huh. Right here. Lieutenant, I'm coming back to get you. Negative. There's just too many of them. I don't think we can hold them off. I'm activating the bomb. What the hell are you doing, Alenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I, I... You know it's the right choice, LT. Fight hard, Chief. Die proud. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay, so we're gonna go back and save Alenko. Normally, I save Ashley. But, because she didn't want to be in my love triangle, fuck her, she's dead. <laughs> Nice. Set that nuke and get out. We can't hold them. Damn it. Suppressing fire. Cover your flank. Cover your... Sovereign, though I was aware of the dangers. 
I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign could use, then cast aside. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, we must die. Really, you need a rapid fire gun for this? There we go. What an explosion! I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? We had to leave her behind. Saren has to be stopped. At any cost. But why me? Why not her? Lieutenant Alenko, I am your commanding officer. I did what I had to do. Don't question my orders. I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But if I'd done my job, we should have been able to save her. Get it together, soldier. Ash's blood is on Saren's hands. And when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, sir. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. We don't have a moment. Snap out of it. Tell me what you saw. 
Exactly, damn it. A distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. I hope you don't plan to cut us off like last time, Commander. What you discovered on Vermeer is too important. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Sovereign's the real problem here. The Reapers wiped out the Protheans. We're next. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. <laughs> I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Here's another saying. Go to hell. <laughs> Maybe we were wrong about you, Shepard. Maybe humans are too hot-headed to be specters. Enough. Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. This discussion is only a minor disagreement. Oh. Looks like we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. <laughs> Hell yeah. So now we're gonna go around and see about talking to everyone, it looks like. No, we're gonna go back to the Citadel, it looks like. We the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible through the Mew Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. 
We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Odina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Asshole. Commander, Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. Udina couldn't wait to stab me in the back. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I should have known better. Udina, the Council, they're all the same. Petty, blind, and stupid. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain uh, you, Anderson. You fucking cock blocked me, asshole! What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. You should probably go meet with him. I got fucking cock blocked! So we're gonna take Alenko with us, just because we're talking to Anderson. So, Captain Anderson, so... And again, if you bring Garrus too, you balance out the party with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Don't know why I'm doing this, because I'm not going to use either one of them. <laughs> Whatever. Should have maxed out dampening. Is what? Whatever. But I end up maxing it out. So cool. So we're going to flux. No, I don't think we're going there first. ...that their research colony on Pharos is being shut down. Difficult living conditions combined with poor yield of viable discoveries made it economically unfeasible to keep the colony going. Exogeny stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Hey, you gotta count your losses and move on, man. That's exactly what you gotta do. So where are we going? The markets, yep, so I could talk to Conrad. I thought so. Uh, Commander, I've been waiting for you to get back got an idea and I wanted to run it by you what's on your mind with so many human colonies being attacked I'm not sure that one specter is enough what if you signed me on as another specter Conrad I haven't been shot in the head nearly enough times to make that seem like a good <laughs> joke if you want but there were people who didn't believe in you and you worked out right I read about what you did on Torfin I'm not afraid to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Conrad, you have no idea what it takes to get the job done. What? No, please. Please don't hurt me. Why are you doing this? 
This is how a gun in your face feels. It happens to me every day. You can't handle this. I thought you were a hero. Heroes don't do things like this. I wish I'd never met you. Hey, I'd rather put the gun in your face and have you cry than go out there and get killed. You know? since I bought it. Hey, are you refunding his stuff? Here you go. Your account will be credited. You did! You took his return! Look, I'm telling you, I bought this here. Why won't you return it? I can't take it back unless... I know, I know. Unless I have a proof of purchase. <laughs> I don't know why that banner is so funny, but it is. It totally is. No, I should have cut out the running back and forth. I don't know why I didn't, but... No blood for aliens. God, my ear itches. There we go. It's Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. You obviously wanted to speak with me. I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? I'm a patriot, Mr. Saraceno. You've got my vote. It is gratifying to hear that. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. Since I have your vote, could I convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy? The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. We need more politicians with the courage to stand up for human rights. Excellent. I'll have my people contact you. Don't worry. We'll take care of everything. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Pharma on Election Day, because Terra Pharma remembers you. Yeah, because the Council decided, fuck you, Shepard. We're gonna go it alone against them bastards, and we're gonna show the universe how it's done. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I don't remember seeing you hip deep in Geth back on Eden Prime. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines. But I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the aliens. I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. I'll see what I can do, but I can't guarantee anything. I understand. I'll pay you back for it. And I can even throw in a little extra. Thanks for your help. Like I said, you can find the stimulant over in the medbay. Okay, now I should have cut this running back and forth out, but I didn't, and I, I don't really know why I didn't. I think it was just, oh, hell with it, and I was, didn't, because I figured I was just going through Vermeer, and I didn't realize, oh shit, I came to the Citadel, so. Because I know, yeah, we're getting to the end here of this video, so. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Let me have a crack at you while I'm, we're at it, too. There's the mental stimulants. We'll take that. The depressant is for the Paragon Path. You give it to Keeler, and you make him end up falling asleep, and all that, but... We are going to screw with the council some more. We're going to screw with the council more, and we're going to frickin' let Keeler have the edge over the Solarians. Uh, any luck getting what I asked for? Here's the drug you asked for. Perfect. 
the Solarians will never see me coming. Here, this is for your trouble. Thanks for your help. I won't trouble you again. Damn right. I'm glad you came, Jimmy. I heard what happened. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not going to let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason. Capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Damn right we are. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Okay, it looks like we're gonna head back to Normandy, I believe. Yes, we are. Okay. Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong Cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. Okay. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. Mm. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Damn right. This is how you steal a ship right here. And I think that's going to be the end of this video. Yep, it sure is. So, hope you all had fun in this episode. I did. Um, you know, that was pretty much Vermeyer and us returning to the Citadel, getting screwed by Udina. So hope you all had fun in this episode. I'll see you on the next episode.